Okay, girl. Hey. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I will. Howdy y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RA Music. That's right. Deep in the heart of Texas. That's right too. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. Right now, believe it or not. That's, yeah. And we're going to answer your questions. Your burning, burning questions. <laughs> First question. Paul DeJaro. Hi Paul. AKA the bitter bass player. <laughs> Hi Paul. <laughs> Hi Paul. <laughs> what sting song woos the ladies? Roxanne, and I don't Google that much. It's all lies. I'm not a Googleizer. Are you? Are you really? Are you really not? I don't know. All right. Know. So what? Uh, Paul wants to know what uh, Sting song was the ladies. You know, Sting's a bass player. Yes. And he <laughs> yes, has no he problem is. wooing the ladies. <laughs> well, first off, I think it's just because it's Sting. Yeah. So really, any police song, I think, is pretty good. But um, Desert Rose was my favorite song. That's the one. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Of course, you know, I love that. I guess it's just me because I love that ethnic edge to some, most songs. It has that real pretty, you know. Arabic. Arabic or Spanish or, you know, just has that, you know, I don't know. There's just something about it. I would play that song on loop all the time just lay in my bed and just listen to desert rose over and over again another one i thought of was brian adams really love a woman so that was a good of course it's spanish guitar spanish again guitar. um that's not sting though no but it's not but that is like i love that you that's, want to woo a lady yeah but you know it depends some girls like some portion sugar on me and some like some garth brooks some like some I'm like some Pantera. You know, Rascal Flats. It's weird. Every girl's different. You just got to know the girl. And then, That's you know. not most girls. Not like a Pantera. Yeah, no. <laughs> but there's, you know, probably a good number of girls who are just like, it just brings something right there yeah. in their heart. And they like it. And that's what you have to do. You have to capture that heart strum. Mm -hmm. And my heart strum is Spanish guitar. So, yeah. And there more than words. And more than words. Thanks for the yeah. question, Paul. Yes. <laughs> See you soon, man. See ya. <laughs> CR Cook. Ryan, here's a question. Would you ever watch a Lady Gaga video? I bet you watch this one. Let me know what your answer. <laughs> yeah. Charles. All right. Uh, and he posted a link to uh, Lady Gaga singing with Metallica yeah. at the Grammys or whatever mm -hmm. music award that was. Yeah. I did see that one, actually, which was the dress rehearsal. Yeah. Rehearsal. Yeah, I've seen dress that one. Dress rehearsal. Kind where of floating around. Where the, uh, James's mic was actually working. Mm -hmm. It was really good. So that's, that's probably the only Lady Gaga video I would watch, but I have seen yeah. that one. Yeah, I'm not uh, the fan of the Gaga. I like it better without her <laughs> and just James, because the more she sings, the less James sings. Yeah, the only time I was ever and that like, doesn't pull on my arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. The only time I, I was ever like, "What?" was um, I think one of the Grammys either last year or the year before last, and they honored Julie Andrews, and she actually sang a compilation of a lot of songs that Julie has sang from her Broadway to uh, cinematic career, mm -hmm. and it was really good. She looked like a normal person, Lady Gaga, not Julie. And um, I was like, what the heck? She needs to be like this, like yeah. more often. And stop that freak is freak of freak of stuff and be like, because she does have an amazing voice. She really honestly does. But I just don't like the circus act that comes along with it because it's really only trying to it's grab the younger shock group. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. Yeah. Shaka Khan. Yeah, <laughs> which also I like. Shaka so. Khan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Charles. Yeah. Clyde Cactus, nice name. I had a bad experience with a cactus once as a small child. Yeah. I don't want to go into it. Hello, Ryan and Angela. I was just wondering if you could help me out. I recently had good fortune to get a guitar from a friend, so hoping you could point me in the right direction of an amp for it. Unfortunately, I don't know the specs of it. It was a gift after all, so I can't help you much there. I'd really like to be able to use the amp for playing blues harmonica with a vocal mic. Thanks Ooh. a million for the pointers and the videos. 
Thanks, Clyde. Uh, well, congratulations on getting a guitar. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of great amps out there. You can't go wrong, really. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of great ones to choose from. But right. since you brought up the point of playing blues harmonica through one, I would probably steer you toward a tube amp of some kind. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the guys who do that kind of stuff, the harmonica through an amp, uh, they a lot of those guys like Fenders. So you mm. could you could go with a small one like a Super Champ. Those are like 15 watts. I've got one that I play through. Uh, I play at a church and I use a real small little something easy portable. It's tube, sounds good. It's about 350 bucks. You could get like a Blues Junior or something like that if you want to get a bigger one. But a lot of the guys say like having the smaller portable ones is real useful. You know right. to carry it around. You know the Blues Devilles and Hot Rod Devilles and they start getting big and heavy and expensive. Imagine. But a lot of the guys seem to prefer fenders for that kind of thing. So yeah. we're not a fender dealer, but I know a guy. Hey, I know a guy. Yeah. Uh, in Denver, <laughs> Flipside Music, my man Anthony. Mm -hmm. Anthony, he's a he's a fender dealer. He can take care of you. So if you yeah. need a fender amp, you know, reach out to Ike at Flipside Music in Denver for fender stuff. He can take care of you. So. Thanks, Clyde. There you go. Uh, B. Thomas, Mr. C. Beast here. Hi, Ryan and Angela. <laughs> what acoustic guitar would you recommend for under 700? Mm. What size and shape would you say is best for travel, but also very small gigs? Not fussed about materials or look, mostly uh, sound. I recently moved over to acoustic from electric. I'm loving it. Da -da -da -dum. Cheers. Love from England. Hey, thanks, C. Beast. I love that name. That's just I great. Um, I would say uh, for under $700, you know, Washburn makes some great ones. They should be available all over the place. You know, we've had really great luck and experience with Washburn and their acoustics. We saw a lot of their like sub 450, like 300, 250, right. 300, 350, 400. We saw a lot of those, but we have sold a few of the Comfort series, which are around 600 to 650, right up to about seven. Those right. are great guitars. Our good friend Tim Worley from Uncle Book and the Jalapeno Overdrive, which we yes. cameoed on his album. Uh, oh, yeah. Tim bought a uh, Comfort Series Washburn from us, and you could probably go check out his channel. Just look up Uncle Book, and uh, he does a, a demo review of his Comfort Series that he got. He loves it a lot. Right. For size and travel, I would check into a Parlor guitar, and Washburn makes some great Parlors too. Mm -hmm. The Parlors are really nice. They're not too big. They're a little bit. A little bit bigger than a three-quarter size acoustic, so they're great if you're traveling and you're in and out of hotels or traveling yeah. a lot for work or whatever. We had uh, a few here in the shop. Yeah. They were pretty sweet. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're great. And they make some with acoustics and built-in stuff like that. So check those out or maybe a folk size. Oh, yeah. The folks are just a little bit bigger than the um, parlors, parlors. And they're great, too. Which, But it's fairly compact and comfortable. So check those out, man. There you go. Thanks, Sea Beast. <laughs> I told that I told that Monte Tree Fitty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, play me again. Just found a cool band. Play uh, again, me. Play again, me. Yeah. What did I say? Play me again. Play me again. Play, play me it again. again, Sam. Play me again, Angelo. Uh, play again, me. Just found a cool band um, with Phil Collin from Def Leppard. It's called Delta Deep. Here's yeah. a link. Ryan, it's a blues-based hard rock. I wanted to see what, what you and Angela thought about this band. Yeah. Well, we checked out the link that you sent us. Yeah. That one was pretty, was very bluesy. Yeah, I liked the vocals on that. Yeah, it was a, it was a lady singing yes. on that, that track. And then we looked at another video of them performing live, like on Fox, a Fox TV channel or somewhere, mm -hmm. doing an acoustic thing. It was really good. Black coffee. Black coffee. <laughs> Apparently, Phil, even though he's white, he thinks he's black. On the inside. He has the soul of a black man. Yes. Those British guys. Yes, they do. They all think they're black <laughs> when they play the blues. I yeah. don't know what it is. It was really great, though. I was really impressed. I yeah, thought, no, it was oh, really man. Good. Yeah. I mean, Def Leppard's great and all that. I used to love, you know, one of their records. Yeah. But, you know, it's kind of cool to see him play something a little more, mm -hmm. you know, Outside that kind of like hits you, what you, see. you know, yeah. real gutsy and, and feely. So I, I liked it. I thought it was mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. Better than some of the other more yeah. popular blues stuff. Great ever. suggestion. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks. Play again, me. Ronnie Hynote. Hi, Ronnie. How's that new vulture treating, treating you? <laughs> Super jealous. Ronnie texted me this morning with, uh, he just got a James Hetfield. V guitar. I'm like, 
my fingers are like twitching. I'm like, they want to, they want to play it. Okay. <laughs> they want my... You want to go to there. I need to go to there and play that guitar. <laughs> yes. Um, he says, it thinks it's reasonable to, to pass on a minor surcharge of $5 extra for each Metallica guitar lesson. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, because yeah. I was touched by James. Yeah. Both and hands. Uh, I think, I think we could probably do that. Probably. I think that's all right. I think that's a good idea. Can I get a Hetfield yeah, yeah soundbite if you like the $5 upcharge fee idea? <laughs> you don't even have to ask for those. There's going right. to be one. I don't know how many Anywhere videos. Anywhere he can insert Anywhere one. I can insert yeah. a... Yeah, yeah! <laughs> I will. Um, Ryan, which would you choose? James' number one snake bite or his explorer from the museum? Mm. Also, what do you think we could have outrun the what you talking about Willis security lady? Because she was like... She was like, what a... Uh, what are you doing, bearded man? What are you doing over there? <laughs> That's what she looked like. Yeah. She was seriously... She was like, what's this guy about to do? Is he about to throw this yeah, guitar? Yeah, at first she was like this. And then she was like this. The more I rocked out, the more nervous she that got. That crazy white man <laughs> doing with that guitar. Who does he think he is? He ain't performing today. Yes, I am. He is in his head. I might be James's cousin or something. He she don't is. even know. He don't know. <laughs> you think we could outrun her and try to smuggle the guitar out the door? Yeah. Looking forward to seeing Ryangela post their Chip and Joanna demo day video of the Wood Palettes ship lap for the win. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I maybe could have outrun that lady, but not for very long. Yeah. Who knows? She could be a sprinter. Know. You know, there are a lot of older people yeah. who like to run marathons. Yeah. She and I do not. She been a track star in her day. She could have been. Yeah. But I think it's not her we need to worry about, Ronnie. I think it was the guy standing right next to us. You know, the young, big, tall, bearded guy who was handing us the they guitars. Were... I think, <laughs> totally I think he would have caught us <laughs> close -lined you. before she did. Although he was very cool. He's like, play this guitar. I'm like, I want to. He's like, play it right now. I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then she was like, what, what are you doing, son? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have the demo video. We, we did a remodel of the shop. Mm -hmm. Shot that video a long time ago. I just need to shoot some wrap-up scenes for it, and we'll put that up soon. Thanks, Ronnie. Super jealous. Yeah. I want to play your beat. Corman Schiermeyer, uh... To add which guitar body shape is comfortable sitting and standing, the Dean ML is great on that with the flying V bottom Explorer top. Mm -hmm. I think what you meant to say, Corman, is the Washburn Dime 3 model is super comfortable. Yeah. Which I prefer to the Dean ML. But you know, I'm just saying. Um, oh my god. Question Have you guys ever been to an Iron Maiden concert and what's the best budget half stack? Yeah. I it have been more like, has Ryan ever been to an Iron Maiden concert? Not, yeah, she's not. You, not you guys. There's she, no you no. guys in that. <laughs> Angela's yeah. not a huge metalhead, <clears throat> obviously. Yep. Nope. She did get to experience the magnificence of Alter Bridge on her birthday. Yes. Which I still owe her for now. Yes. <laughs> like, we got to go see Ed Sheeran or somebody on my yes. birthday. Yes. yes. <laughs> or Michael Bublé. Yes. On my birthday. Yes. But, uh, yeah, no, I haven't. <laughs> Iron Maiden just played like a few days ago in Dallas. And I thought, oh, I just, the day of the concert, I was like, oh man, that would have been cool to go to. But I just saw Metallica like a week ago. <laughs> and I don't know if you could have topped that. So, yeah. I've I never seen him. from high school went to that. Yeah. I still haven't found, I need to find who I'm not who a, it was. I'm not a massive Maiden fan. They were a little bit before my time. When I was, you know, in junior high. Mm -hmm. You know, eighth grade, learning, starting getting to guitar and drums and stuff. It was like Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Pantera, you know. Mm -hmm. And Maiden and like Judas Priest and a lot of the new wave of British heavy metal was like about a decade before that. Mm -hmm. You know, that they were super. Mm -hmm. Now, so I'm not a massive Maiden, you know. They have a couple songs that comes on the radio. I'm like, yeah, all right. Twin, twin guitar harmonies and Bruce Dickinson, like, man, he can sing. Yeah. Like, he can... He can rip out some vocals. There's, there's even, no doubt. Even now as an older gentleman, he can he can wail. Yeah, that's some total voice, voice control. Learned it early. Yeah, and I was showing Nicholas some videos of them, and like the bass player, man, he's like... He's just like going crazy, man. Yeah. So they're great. They really are, but I'm not like an ultra mega. You know, if someone had offered me a free ticket to go, I would have gone, but, uh, yeah. you know. 
And a budget half stack, you know, I don't think you can go wrong with, you know, a Marshall, like an MG series. Like I've been looking at this little MG 4x12. Mm -hmm. um, it's got, what do they call it? Um, carbon fiber, like outside. It looks really cool. It's mm -hmm. still being leathery looking. It's carbon fiber. Super cheap. It's 4x12. It's like 250 bucks. Mm -hmm. 259 here in the USA. And I've almost bought it once and then I didn't. And then it was sold out and now they're still waiting for more. And right. um, so that's probably the cheapest 4x12 you can get anywhere that I've seen. Mm -hmm. And it says Marshall on it. So, you know, people will go, oh, wow, Marshall, you're legit. Even if they don't play guitar, they'll go, oh, Marshall. <laughs> Even non-guitarists know Marshall amps, you know. Um, so that's that would be a cheap way to go. And then, of course, any of their heads. But you could also use, like, I've got this Blackstar HT5 over here behind Angela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is when I get that little 4x12, I'm going to keep it at the house. I'm going to, you know, lug you the little... You just wanted me to lean on you. I just did a little bit. I did play you a sweet song at the beginning. She did. So. And we're getting married now. We're getting married. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, already are. Just in case somebody gets really confused. Just yeah. We actually are. And I've had more than one person ask, are y'all married? Yeah. Yes. yes for like we are. 18 years now. It's yeah. Happily married. So. <laughs> happily. <laughs> but yes. you could get like an HD5, you know, if you wanted to, uh, any of the Black Star stuff. You could really, there's a lot of choices with any head that you want that you could put on that 4x12. Mm -hmm. to go budget wise um, so that's that's the route I would go that's actually what I'm gonna do so I, I'm gonna just drag one of these HD5s back and forth from the house to the shop because I've got two here right. for lessons and it's super easy to transport mm -hmm. but that's what I would do yeah I mean you can look at the you know MG Marshall heads too I'm not as big a fan as the Marshall like they're cheaper amps right but the cabs are cool so right that's my advice Corman thank you Mike Barker, in my personal experience, it is common for the G string on a Les Paul to be slightly <laughs> out of tune on a consistent basis. Thanks, Ryan Jalali. Question, are you guys planning on any new RNA merch, i.e. shirt design, stickers, etc. in the future? Um, you know, I think the third string, which is a G, does tend to go out of tune on a lot of guitars. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but... Like we talked about that in the last video about Gibson headstocks and stuff. Do they go out of tune or not? So you can go check out that last video. That's what Mike is talking about. Um, as far as new merch, we don't really have anything specific planned. Other than we do need to make some more shirts because we're running really low. Like yeah. I think I have three XLs, three or four, maybe five XLs out there. And we've got some mediums and a few smalls in like spring colors. Right. So we're running really low on T-shirts. Right. Uh, we do have some of the... Uh, Texas-y kind of logo RNA with the silhouette of the guy with the Explorer. Yeah, yeah! Yep. Um, we have a few of those stickers and some of our Phoenix stickers, but at the moment we right. just got stickers and tees. Mm -hmm. No new plans really, other than maybe to reissue our uh, Force yeah. tee with the uh, the Force looking logo. I, I guess I could say. Yeah. Say the force. I like that. The force. I like that. The force tea. Um, that was a limited run a couple years ago. We've made those teas. Uh, my my man Adam Lamar from Warefoot worked up that logo for me as a kind of a joke, really. And I was like, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Right. Let's make a shirt. Let's, let's do this. Let's, <laughs> let's do make this, this happen. Oh well, yeah, it's stickers and everything. Yeah, but we've had a lot of requests. Not a lot. We've had a few requests. Mm -hmm for the return of the force, return of the T. Yes. Um, so we may do a limited printing of that. Um, the only other thing I thought would kind of be cool was like right around the Metallica concert. I was like, it'd be sweet if I made a shirt that had like, it said RNA, but like in the Metallica font. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire, ooh. Then the Phoenix and then music. So it looks like an RNA yeah. music T. Our C already kind of has like a has a little swoopy. This is like wolf fang font or something like that. I mean, this is a pretty metal yeah, font thing but here. But having it blocked wouldn't be because it's like more like a block yeah. point. So that's sort of my swoopy. goofy metal Metallica I fan think that's an nerd awesome thing idea to have it personally. <laughs> so that that might be coming. I don't know if you guys would like that or not. But yeah. if, if there's some kind of merch that you guys would like to see, like koozies. Jacuzzis. Okay. Jacuzzi, okay. Uh, uh, koozies or hats or... Yeah, I like the idea of hats. Like, I want the, you know, the 
distressed with a real cool patch, not just a print on, but like a patch. Like a patch. Like a weathered patch on the front. I think that would be that would really be cool. cool. Well, you guys let us know if there's some kind of merch you would like to see. Just leave a comment below. Yeah. And that was the last question. So if you guys have any questions for next week, leave them below. We'll try to get to them. Or of course, you know, leave your comments. We like to read the comments and see you guys discuss the answers to these questions as well. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you've never subscribed to our channel before. Give us a thumbs up and a like. That really helps with the YouTube algorithms and yes. all the comments. All the love. More comments, the better, because they, they love to see that activity on the videos and they'll help kind of push it along. So we really appreciate that. Yes, and share, share, share. Share, share, share. And then keep the music alive. And don't forget it. Because the music needs you. And you need the music. Yes, we do. And more t-shirts. Yeah. And the music needs you. And the music. And the music needs you. Yeah, I confused myself. And we need the music. Yes. <laughs> and koozies. And koozies, okay. 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 <laughs> Jackoozies. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye.